Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today we're going to be doing a almost full face of Huda Beauty products. I'm going to use mostly everything I have from her. Um, I'm just so excited for this video. I'm going to be talking about the pop-up I went to and I actually met Huda Beauty, which is insane. Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Natasha M. So thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment. The reason why I wanted to do this video is because, to be honest, I left that event feeling like some type of way, in a good way, right? There's no tea here. <laughs> um, and also I was given some goodies that I already have and I wanted to like thank you guys for all the love that you show me. And always just stopping to watch my video and take the time out of the day to do so. It really does mean a lot. So um, I'm gonna be giving away the Mercury Red Trade palette with the Huda Beauty Life Liner. This stuff is amazing. I'm gonna show you guys in this video. So yeah, I'm gonna be giving these two away. All the giveaway rules will be in the description box. So check that out and good luck to you all i've already done my brows because she don't have any brow products yet although i feel like she should she really should let me just sip on my smoothie i'm actually filming a ye in a day today finally i know right i think i want to work on the eyes first so i'm first going to use this toasted almond overachiever concealer i used to use caramel corn but i feel like this is a better match for me because i want it a bit lighter i'm going to use a bit of like graham cracker because i like my eye base to be really like light i know not a lot of you on here follow me on instagram but i was really lucky enough to get invited to the huda beauty pop-up event and oh, i was just so like surprised when i even got the invitation i am on the pr list which is crazy i have a story to tell about that as well but um yeah i was just like oh my god but to be honest i was so close to cancelling because not only could i find something to wear although i did overdress a bit but then in the end i'm like nah that was my moment and i had to overdress you know um but i was i get so much like and not anxiety but i feel awkward in events I'm not gonna lie, sometimes it can be clicky. Oh my god, the other day I was also lucky to uh, meet Deepika Mataria. So she's a YouTuber, but she's created the brand called Live Tinted, which is amazing. I'm gonna be using her products in a video soon. But she was saying that, you know, when you go to events, it can be really clicky, which I always felt like. When they're on their own and you meet them, like, and you get to talk with them, like, on their own, you're just like oh my god you're actually all right anyways that's why i avoid not only because i have a full-time job it's really hard to take days as off to go to events but when i i don't like going to like these party events because it just is so clicky and i feel so out of place and awkward um and i always feel like i'm a confident person and i can make conversation but also i found like when i go to events i'm just so quiet um, it really depends, but yeah, that's how I feel. So yeah, I was getting really anxious. I'm like, oh my god, I, um, I don't know anyone who's going. And even when I go to the corner shop, I always drag one of my siblings with me. I don't like being by myself um, when I go out. But I posted, this is it's so weird how it was like meant to be, but I posted a, um, um, a video uh, on my story my instagram story of saying i can't find an outfit for like an event on friday and then my good friend mia mia loves booty on um on instagram she messaged me and she was like what event are you going to i'm like I'm, i said i'm going to a, a huda beauty event it's like a pop-up and she was like oh my god i'm going as well and i was just like oh this just makes me so happy it's so much better when someone you know goes Especially someone you know on that level because Mia's just like the sweetest person like we always try to hang out as much as we can Obviously she has a baby um, and I work a full-time job So I really try to make time for my friends and meet up with them although it can be really difficult at times because I'm on this like trying to um, stay healthy journey. I'm trying to like work and then trying to like keep up to um, every keep up with everything on YouTube and Instagram because it's something I take really, really seriously. It's my hobby, but like, this is like what makes me really happy other than my other, my work job. It just made everything so much better. And she helped me choose my outfit. I was like sending her so many like pictures of like, can you help me? Cause she's just so freaking stylish, man. Definitely follow her on Instagram, by the way, guys. 
and I don't know I just I just felt excited for the event I was just so happy she was going um I took a half day off I literally went to work after the pop-up event because it was literally at like 8 30 in the morning so I got dressed I'll put some like footage of like the day I literally had the most sparkly trousers of life and I was and heels and I was struggling to walk in the hills and I was in the tube with that 8 30 in the morning rush hour time everyone's like where's this girl going i had massive earrings my cat my hair was all big and curly I had full face of makeup lashes and everything and everyone was like literally staring it was like oh my god but then do you know what i'm always like dull like when i go to work i barely wear any makeup i barely do myself up and i'm like do you know what i look good today so i'm gonna take it all in and take my moment you know in the tube <laughs> um but that was something to experience. By the way, before I keep going on, I'm gonna use my retrograde palette because I'm giving it away. I wanna show you guys what I love with this palette. My favorite, favorite shade, which is Nebula, which to be honest, when I met Huda Beauty, she was wearing it too. So I was like, oh my God, we're matching and stuff. I d I'm not like a, a fangirl kind of person, but like when I meet people that are, oh my God, like Huda Beauty is like someone I've followed for ages and I had a bit of a fangirl moment. Like. <laughs> You got to grab it again. We anyways, we got to the pop up. The, her team was so lovely. Kirsty who invited me, she was the most sweetest person ever. Um we went, there was a huge queue outside. We went straight in with Mia. We took our coats off. I was like half naked on the top and it was bloody freezing. Um, and yeah, we walked in. We had a bit of a look at everything in the in the, in the the pop-up shop. It just looked like a spaceship landed in the middle of Covent Garden and it looked so cool. The first shade I'm gonna take is Karma. And then, to be honest, Huda Beauty mentioned on her story are oh, like um, when she's gonna be at the pop up around like two, and we were there at eight thirty. So we we're like, oh, we're not gonna meet her. I was really excited about it, but it's okay. We're gonna go see the pop up. It's fine. We're overdressed anyways. It's okay. We get there, and then Kirsty's like, Huda Beauty's gonna be here. Oh my god! Like I was just so excited and so happy that she was actually coming. Oh my god! It was like, I felt so excited. Anyways. We were all waiting for the door for her to come in and like she walked in and it was just amazing. She's just the sweetest person ever. And then we all like kind of lined up to take some pictures with her. I love how like down to earth she is and like she doesn't rush it. She bought everyone in the queue hot chocolate. She's just the sweetest person and like she doesn't make you feel inferior even though like she's just an amazing successful woman, woman but like She's just so like down to earth and I love that. I love that someone can be so successful in life but can still talk to people like that. I just think it's so healthy and good for you to surround yourself with people that inspire you to like push for for better for yourself, if that makes sense. Just meeting her in person just shows like, oh my God, like hard work can pay off if you just keep going at it and yeah it was she just looked amazing it's like her eyes like look into your soul she's just she's just amazing and i had a little quick chat with her dad i called him i was like hello pop uh, i said papa huda or something like that and he was so sweet and i was like i see you on the huda boss show and i was we just had a nice conversation he was like where are you from and i was like mauritius indian and he was like oh mauritius is a really nice uh, island he was just this, he was so sweet. I'm just blending this into my crease a little bit. So me and Mia left there like feeling like we were like, wow, like she's so, so nice. Like so nice. I, I feel so lucky and blessed to be even able to get invited to that and meet her. And I also like that like it was quite intimate as well. Not a lot of people were there, it wasn't too packed. It was just a really good experience and I felt so motivated after. I'm not gonna lie, when I, I remember I was on the bus to uni, this was years ago, and um, I got, I opened my emails on the bus and I see like, 
I got a Huda EBT email and they're like, we want to add you to, your, to our PR list. And I literally started bawling on the bus and I called my husband. I'm like, oh my God, like I got an email. And it was like, oh, look, like all the hard work I do, freaking like, it just really paid off. And in that moment in time, like I was like, wow, I'm actually on the Huda EBT PR list. And also back then there weren't a lot of people on the PR list. So it was even like crazy. I feel like now I love how she just, doesn't only focus on big big influencers she gives it to a, a bit of like it doesn't as long as you create good content no matter how much following you have you can you have a chance of getting into her PR list which is amazing so yeah that's what I love about um, her and the brand and I love her products I remember the first product I ever bought from um, Huda Beauty was um, it was the heartbreaker lip liner because it was the only one in stock i think it was heartbreaker and this is when she first started like branching out of her lashes so it was a big thing and everyone just jumped for it and i, I was only able to get one of the red lip liners and then my friend kindly um let me borrow her rose gold palette the original one with a clear cover and I loved it so much and I gave it back to her but like my hubby bought one for my birthday and it was just like I was so happy about it because it's £60, it's like a lot of money for a palette so I was so happy when I got it. Okay so the next shade I'm going to take is Nebula which is my favourite and I'm using some of the Huda Beauty Rest in Boss Face on the brush. This is her brush by the way, it's like those spongy ones but it's so good for her shadow to like pick it up and I'm just going to pack this all on the lid. There was a huge, huge Black Friday sale recently and so many people bought from her website. Um, I kind of regret that I didn't because I was like, oh, I receive her stuff. I don't really need anything from her, but I regret not buying like loads of lashes because her lashes are one of my favorite. My favorite are Lottie and Hoodie, which are the most recent ones. I do like, I think it was Faro as well. Anyways, I love all her lashes, so I regret getting all of them. Um which were on sale. I wish you could see this shade in real life. By the way, those are stockings up there. They're, I guess they're gonna be there for the whole of Christmas period. But do you know what? I was saying like, it was just so meant to be that Mia came. Like it came, because she's not on the PR list. The way she got invited was just so out of the blue. So I was like, this was so meant to be. Like out of all the people, like Mia, you know? So I, I don't know, that was just like crazy. I feel like I was meant to be there, meant to meet her. And like, I don't know, I feel like, me even like meeting Deepika who created her own brand like she's just a strong like positive woman like she is so well spoken lovely like and so real like she's not afraid to say what she thinks I feel so motivated and I think it's just for even for you guys to surround yourself with people who motivate you will probably inspire you to go and you know do the things you want to do now using the double liner this stuff is like amazing it's so black can't see anything I'm gonna use the other side of the chrome which is so good because it's really black and creamy but it doesn't like transfer or like leak anywhere for lashes I'm gonna use the Lottie lashes which I actually wore I don't know, no, I didn't wear these at the event. So I received the Sticky Tack Lash Glue, which is a latex-free clear one, but it's so hard to get off. It's like this liner. The only thing that can get it off is the Huda Beauty Makeup Remover Balm. This is the only thing I can get it off. Um, but the liner is so black and so long-wearing. And I love that the crayon liner, when you put it on your waterline, it doesn't like leak on your under eyes. Um, I don't really like this lash glue because it's so hard to get off and it... It took two, day, two days for me to literally get it all out of my lashes. So my favourite one is the black one, which I'm going to purchase. Whilst my lashes are drying, I'm just going to clean this up. This eye look is so simple, but it's like my favourite. Especially if you're like going to a party or anything. Just look at those lashes, it just makes such a difference. Obviously for foundation, I'm gonna use my brown sugar faux filter foundation. You really 
really don't need too much of this stuff. I forgot to tell you why I've got this thing on my head. It's because I'm doing um, an Olaplex treatment. I'm filming a um, hair video after this to show you guys how I curl my hair because I've been getting so many questions. It looks so flawless. I'm then going to take the Overtriever Concealer in Toasted Almond and I really highlight under my eyes. Again, you don't need too much of this stuff. Just look at that difference. So after the pop-up event, we actually went to go eat at Sushi Samba. They gave us breakfast, which was also really, really nice. Next, I'm gonna use a Tantor in medium. I do like to mix it with the light one which looks like this. I do like to mix the two because the light one's a bit more warm. I'm taking her uh, face bacon blend brush. I'm gonna use this stiff side. Then next up I'm going to use some of my Easy Bake Loose Baking Powder in Blondie. Next I'm going to use the Bronze Sands 3D Highlighting Palette and I'm first going to use the bronzer shade. Then we're going to use some of the blush shade called Bora Bora. And just to finish that off, I'm going to use some of the shade Maldives as my highlight. Then we're finally going to finish off with the setting spray. Now this stuff is like glue for your face, literally. Now onto lips, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Spice Girl. Her lip liners are so creamy. I'm gonna go a bit cooler on the lips today. I'm using the matte lipstick in last night. Okay, so then for the under eyes, I'm gonna grab the shade Karma again and we're just gonna buff this on the lower lash line. And we're gonna pop some of the eye crayon from the double liner. You see how black this is? And none Huda Beauty products, obviously mascara. But I need mascara on my lower lashes. Gosh, I always get mascara on my nose. So now just to finish it off, I'm gonna grab some of a Super Moon, which is like a bright white shade. And we're just gonna put that in the inner corner. Okay, so this is the makeup done. I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be right back. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this um, kind of like makeup tutorial, I guess. I love the eyes, but yeah, I don't know. I just love Huda products. Like if you want a full beat face, this is what you need. I did film a hair video, so it will be the next video up. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. I wouldn't really get these opportunities if it weren't for you all supporting me, watching my videos, showing the love, and I really, really do appreciate it. And that's why I really tried to do a bunch of giveaways to say thank you. And I do keep an eye out on the, those who always like constantly show um, comment who comment and like in every single post. And I do keep an eye on that. And I like to just give like little giveaway like goodies to those people as well on the side which I don't really like share about um but just know that I do do that so yeah thank you so much guys for all the love I uh, honestly like that was a, like a wow moment for me like wow I'm actually here please do enter the giveaway I wish you guys the best of luck and I will see you in my next video bye